The Edmonton and Area Land Trust secures and stewards natural areas for future generations. One stewardship action that keeps us busy in the winter and early spring is the removal of black knot fungus. Black knot infects trees in the Prunus genus, which includes native and ornamental cherry trees. It can also affect some plants in the rose family, including prickly rose. It grows at first as a green gall on the branch and eventually matures into the characteristic black tar-like swelling on the branches or the trunk of the tree. An infection will eventually kill the tree, and as the infection spreads or worsens, it spreads more rapidly to other trees in the area. In the interest of keeping our natural ecosystems healthy and disease-free, we cut off infected branches to give trees the chance to thrive. When removing black knot, the first factor to consider is timing. Black knot spores spread when the temperature is above 15 degrees Celsius, so pick a day that is below 15 degrees to remove the fungus. Infected branches should be removed with pruners or loppers at least 6 to 8 inches below the knot. It is better to cut a branch where it separates from the stem of another branch or the trunk rather than leaving a stump. Disinfect cutting blades after each cut with a solution made from 10% household bleach and water. Place cuttings in a garbage bag and set out with household garbage or burn black knot branches at an appropriate location. If you are concerned about black knot located on city or public lands, it is best to contact the local government division to inform them about the infection. On private land and with owner permission, feel free to tackle it yourself. Check out the Edmonton and Area Land Trust's volunteer page or our website to learn more about how you can help steward natural areas in your own backyard. She's my number five when I got her! <laughs> ah. Oh, there's my trophy! Whee! Good job! <laughs>